Yes, and good afternoon and good day, my beautiful butterflies. Yours truly, Penny Salcedo, right here on our YouTube channel. Personally yours, the Penny Salcedo Vlogs. But you know what? This is not just about the vlogs and things like that. Um, you know, things be with me personally. But very much the core of this channel is, of course, you know, sharing in spirit and in truth God's truths god's words through the holy spirit and everything is smart marked solid and firm in the mighty name of jesus christ and yes today we are here for part three of our daily bible reading and you know what i used to the former um title of this playlist to which by the way um check out main at the main of um my channel and check out all the playlists and you will see there it says bible daily or daily bible something like that and you see there are different playlists there it's like a folder for everything that i have for you here on um this channel and daily bible formerly um i gave it a former title of reading and understanding the bible but now Let's change it as um, by the will of the Father and through the Holy Spirit. Let us be doing it in Jesus' name. We will be doing this every day, parts by part. And I read the Bible and I understand the Bible and get to know more of our enormous, the enormity, the enormity of our Father God, His grandeur, the grandeur of our Heavenly Father God and everything that we have already known we had already known from when we are growing up and many more that we still have to know by his words and his truth in spirit and in truth we know everything and yes so this is part three and we will be doing this every single day from today so yes this is day three part three for us and just like the first two videos that we had here, you won't be seeing me, but just my hands most of the times. And of course, our holy book right here and my voice. And before, before we go right down to today's Bible share, please do not forget to subscribe. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you still have not. Leave a comment. I would love to know where you are watching me from and where you are receiving the words of the Father. Please do let me know. Just say hi and something like that. I would love to know where you're watching me from. And give it as well a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, most of all, the very reason why I'm doing this is to share to share everything about our Heavenly Father God, to share about the Holy Spirit, and to share about our Lord and our Savior and our King, our brother, in fact, Jesus Christ. And um, I'm spreading and sharing this, and in order for it to be shared more and farther and further is that if you also share it yourself. So please do, hearts, and thank you so much, hearts, for your, your sharing it. I'm not doing this for fame or anything like that. I'm not doing this for virality, but to spread out the good news of the Father, the good news of the Lord. And so please do. And before, before even we go further to today's reading, let me give a quick prayer right here. Heavenly Father God Almighty, our Heavenly Father who's created the heavens and the earth and everything that we see around us, Father, our Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Creator, through the most powerful intercession of the Holy Spirit and in the mighty name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, our King, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Healer, our Provider, our Protector, our King and our Brother, because you are our Father. So Jesus Christ is our Brother and that is such great news by itself. And we come here before you, Father, right here, right now, at this very moment, offering you everything of ourselves, Father. We empty ourselves. I empty myself, Father God, of my entire carnal being. I let go of myself. And I pray this as well to the ones watching this, that they empty themselves 
of their carnal state of their carnal being and mind body and soul and entirely be empty so that the holy spirit can come in us and search us and fill us with your greatness and your glory and your power father god so that we may come to understand your holy words father and we thank you we thank you for your forgiveness father And as we thank you for your forgiveness, we ask you greatly that you please forgive us of our sins. Anything from mind, every anything that we have thought of, felt about, and is said of, Father. Both known and unknown, Father. Please forgive us to anything that is that does not serve your glory, Father. For we only intend, I only intend, Father, to be serving you in all ways possible that in all ways that you will make available for me father god and the grand news is that you shall provide everything for me father as i spread all about you father and oh my heavenly father god i thank you i thank you for your love your kindness i thank you for your grace i thank you for your mercy i thank you for your provision father god Thank you for making all ways possible, Father, for 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 the things that we need here on earth, greatly including, Father God, the financial needs for our daily and monthly needs, Father God. Thank you for making it sufficient for us and even more. Thank you. Our faith, my faith, Father God, is enclosed only in you father god through the works of the holy spirit and my faith is totally locked with you and to you my lord jesus christ thank you father for your love thank you for everything that you are and for today's bible share father god give us understanding clear our minds and our thoughts father god of anything that will not make us understand but instead father god fill us with understanding with wisdom and knowledge that only comes from you father so that we may be able to really be fed and that we 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 hunger and we thirst so please feed us father god and make us drink of your holy words thank you father thank you for the wisdom and knowledge that you shall bless us as we get to read this by your grace my heavenly father god almighty through the most powerful intercession of the holy spirit this i declare and i decree and i know that those watching this is agreeing to me and so we say amen and amen in jesus mighty name amen and amen woo love 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 <laughs> Yes, there you go. Okay, so my beautiful butterflies, we continue on where we left off from part two. And once again, please do check the playlist so that you get to see the part one and part two. Today is part three. And in fact, this will be every day Bible reading from now on. And today, we get to be sharing that part from the book of Genesis, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. This is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created, when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Now no shrub had yet appeared on the earth, and no plant had yet sprung up, for the Lord God had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no one to work the ground. But streams came up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden, and there he put the man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A river watering the garden flowed from Eden. 
from there it was separated into four headwaters. The name of the first is the Pishon. It winds through the entire land of Havila, where there is gold. The gold of that land is good. Aromatic resin and onyx are also there. The name of the second river is the Gihon. It winds through the entire land of Cush. The name of the third river is the Tigris. It runs along the east side of Ashur. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. Then the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Adam and his wife were both naked, and they felt no shame. The Fall Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, you must not eat from any tree in the garden. The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden. But God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. And you must not touch it, or you will die. You will certainly not die, the serpent said to the woman. For God knows that when you eat it from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. The man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put here with me. She gave me some fruit from the tree and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. 
and I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. To the woman he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor, you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. To Adam he said, Because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about, which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat food from it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you will return. Adam named his wife Eve because she would become the mother of all the living. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. And the Lord God said, The man now has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the tree of life. Yes, yes, there you have it, my beautiful butterflies. Today's share of Bible, and this will be a daily thing of beginning beginning this on the third part um part three of our bible reading and this will be now this playlist will be now called daily bible and yes so we had today we had adam and eve and as well the fall which entirely you know Take it if you have to watch this, watch this all over again. And I really will suggest if you had just come in uh, seeing part three, please do check out part one and part two, because I really had literally um, read the Bible from the very beginning. And yes, so we stop right here with the fall of Adam and Eve, making us now greatly understand that it actually roots from Adam and Eve everything that we are now facing in the present and for many years now and from since then from the sins of adam and eve we had been we had been um uh, feeling all um the curses and everything because of the of their disobedience this is all about being disobedient to god and if i may now already say so early on reading this bible the way the only way the only truth towards the life that father has for us the life that he had actually built for us from the very beginning the only key to that is obedience obedience to his word knowing his word knowing his commands and really filling our minds hearts and souls take out it to any of you who are doing um who are doing what do you call this um new age kind of things with mind body and soul jesus christ is the only way the truth and the life towards the life that god has built for us and it is in each and every one of us to break the chain to break the chains from the sins of adam and eve we can break it if you guys are still not getting it we can break it into each and every one of us by reading the words and knowing god knowing the holy spirit knowing lord jesus christ his life his death and his resurrection in fact is our resurrection in our life so all we have to do simple holy bible read it eat and drink from it oh to god be the glory for everything that he will even make us realize more open your minds your hearts and offer your souls to the lord for that is really jesus christ 
the gods, the grace of our Heavenly Father God, through the Holy Spirit, the fiery works of the Holy Spirit, who's gentle and mild and meek, yet so powerful, because the Holy Spirit is in fact the Spirit of God. The Spirit who's made all things possible by the word of the Father God from the creation, the beginning of Genesis, how God created it by His words only, let there be light, and then those, and then there was light because the Holy Spirit worked for it. Let me make you understand, my beautiful butterflies, my beautiful butterflies in spirit and in truth. God, the Holy Spirit, and Lord Jesus Christ, really our holy trying God. For the Father God says the word, the Holy Spirit works for it. And the Lord Jesus Christ loves whatever it is that the Father says. He will love, he will love it and he will approve of it. That's how, <laughs> really, the only way, the truth and the life. And so my beautiful butterflies, I am very, very fired up into this. As we get along and daily Bible reading. So part four is tomorrow. And we shall continue on. My beautiful butterflies in spirit and in truth. Of course. Here. Right here. Let me just zoom this in. And we shall continue with part four. With Cain and Abel. And we go right down to. From Adam to Noah. And I'll see if I can uh, do for the third of it so but all in all total we will be doing this every day and i can't wait i can't wait to god be the glory and glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be forever and ever world without end amen and amen i love you my beautiful butterflies my beautiful butterflies in spirit and in truth go with god and let god be in your life invite him invite the holy spirit and ask everything in the mighty name of jesus christ that is the seal and done deal when we say we ask it in your name my lord jesus christ it is it is sealed, it's done, and it's delivered. And all you have to do is accept it with all of your heart. And continue on being an obedient child of the Father. And as you are being a child of the Father, then you transform yourself into being a warrior of God. In spirit and in truth, I love you, my beautiful butterflies. I love you as if my Lord loves you. And yeah, spread, spread the word of the Lord. Share this video. Share everything that is about God. We are now in the end times. Time is running short and time is running out for mankind, for humanity. But when we are in the fires of the Holy Spirit, time is really, He will, the Lord God will equip us with much time as we need so that we may be able to get out the truth. Okay? My love for you all, my beautiful butterflies. Yes, yes. This is Penny Salcedo, and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, and share. And check out the rest of my playlist right here. I also have vlogs, you know, together with my friends, my family, and everything else that I uh, wish to share. And just check out the entire playlist. I have to know that I have entire playlist. Thank you, beautiful butterflies. Have a great day in the love and guidance and protection and provision of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. <laughs>